On today's episode of SEO Lunch, track your sales or your conversion with Google Analytics. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan, and SEO Lunch is the latest and greatest in ML marketing tips, search engine optimization tricks, and other tools to help optimize your website. As always, this is brought to you by our wonderful Embrace WP service. Embrace WP is your place to go for SEO and inbound marketing audits, consulting, and development on a month-by-month basis. Please visit us today at embracewp.com. So... What we're talking about today is actually a really, really cool Google Analytics tool because a lot of people want to be able to track their sales in a different way on their website. And while there are plugins on WordPress that can do this, there's actually a way to track and funnel track um, a goal in Google Analytics. And I'm going to explain how to do that today and why you should do that too. So let's start with the why, right? What's really great about Google Analytics is that in the same place that you are you know, tracking how many visitors you're getting to the site, how many visitors are going to this page or that page, you can also start tracking your sales. And what's really cool about this is that funnel piece I talked about earlier. What I mean by that is, let's say you look at your website and you find out that you know three people have bought your product or something, right? But you know, 2,000 people visited your site, so what gives, right? Well, funneling helps out with that a little bit because what it allows you to do is it actually allows you to see why it's happening in a sense. What I mean by that is instead of just saying, you know, well, nobody visited my checkout page, you can say, well, nobody visited my checkout page, but out of those 2,000 people or I mentioned earlier, only 10 people even found the first page to go to before you get to checkout. So I'm going to help kind of visualize that and why that's important as we go through this little lesson here. To find goals, to set up a goal, because you have to do that first, right? What you're going to do is you're going to, once you have your Google Analytics account set up, you go to the admin section. And on the right side, there's actually an element called goals. That's simple. You go to the goals section and you click on create a goal and you can name your goal. So let's say the goal here is to uh, to sell um, a product or something. I'm selling my product sale, right? What's really cool about that is you can even set a monetary value. So let's say the product you're selling is $900 or something like that. You can type that into the the bar for the amount it is. Type in the name of the product. And then what's really important is you're going to set your URL, right? But Google already knows that your site is your site. So if your website is called mywebsite.com, Google already knows that because it's already been set up with Google Analytics. But let's say you're, the site that you go to, the page that you go to when you've purchased the product is mywebsite.com slash purchase confirmation or something of that nature. All you have to type in here is the slash purchase confirmation slash. And what that will do is that will start tracking just hits on that page. And the only way you can really visit that page as a customer is if you've already purchased the item. That makes sense. So Google, so it kind of knows that if you're on that page, you've purchased it, which means your company's made $900. Why this is cool is now you can go to the next section below and you can actually funnel those goals, which is really, really cool, right? So basically I can say, well, to get to the person confirmation page, they first have to go through the checkout page, which is slash checkout. So you go to that page and you filter it that way. Now when we go back to Google Analytics and we're tracking our sales, and I'm gonna, the example I'm going to show is a newly created goal, so it's going to be like at zero, 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 I'm sure. But what you can do is you can actually say, and it will actually show you, here's the funnel. And why this is cool is it will actually tell you, well, I don't know, 200 people visited the checkout page and 25 people bought your product. It tells you right there, which is really, really cool. So if you want, you can send say, okay, well, why is that? And then you can go through your other analytics and kind of figure that out from there. But the funneling is just really, really cool. And this doesn't have to be just for you know purchases of products. You can use this for form completions, creating accounts, time on site, things like that, right? Signing up for a newsletter, right? You can funnel in different ways. So let's say that you have a newsletter button on five pages or something like that. Sign up for a newsletter and it's on five different pages. The ultimate goal can be the page where they're finished, where they've officially signed up for the newsletter page. So once they've gotten to that page, you know they've signed up but you can create five different funnels 
which are all five of the pages they have to go to first, or one of the five pages, I should say, to get there. And then you can track from there. So if out of those five pages, the, the, the web page where the call to action is at the bottom of the page is the one that's converting, you're going to want to go to the other four pages and then change that accordingly. Because that goal told you that, you know, 30 people subscribed to your email list. And of those 30 people that subscribed, 25 of them subscribed from that one page. And here's why that worked. So it's a really great way to do what's called A-B testing. And if you're unfamiliar with A-B testing, this is still a little crazy for you with the goals. Please let us know. Don't hesitate to ask. You can comment below or contact us at embracewp.com slash contact. We'd love to help you out a little further with this as well. Um, again, you can subscribe to us as always by hitting the big old red subscribe button on YouTube. We're always welcome in the love from our wonderful, wonderful community. Thank you guys so much every day for all your comments. Um, thank you very much. 